Cottonwood fill adjusts to your exact individual needs and helps keep your neck supported and aligned. Call or go online to order MyPillow Premium, and Mike will give you a second pillow absolutely free. Use the promo code on your screen to get two MyPillows for the price of one. Don't delay. Order now. With our 60-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Sleep well, America! For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. Did you know there's a Mahindra for everyone and every job? Test drive and save during Harvest Demo Days. Like an Emax 20S, a 2538 or 2638 HST, open or cab models, and a 1526 or 1626 HST. And test drive Mahindra's utility vehicles too. Only from the world's number one selling tractor, Mahindra. Hurry in for the best savings of the year at your New England Mahindra dealer. Rich's parents know he's out tonight because he drove his Hyundai with Blue Link technology that texts his parents whenever he drives farther, faster, or later than he should. His parents got the message. Now, so will he. The Hyundai Elantra and Sonata. The longer you look, the more there is to like. Lease an Elantra for only $129 a month or get 0% APR plus $1,000 in bonus cash. Hurry, offers end October 1st. Afternoon traffic on your TV with Rachel Lutzker, only on Fox 61 News. Welcome back to the Fox 61 Morning News. Right now you are taking a live look throughout the state. Look at that beautiful, beautiful sunrise there. You're watching the Fox 61 Morning News. Glad you could be with us on this Sunday morning. I'm Aisha Bowen. Right now we will get to your top headlines here in just a moment, but we want to get you a look at your forecast with Tim Levine. He's standing by right now with a check of what you may feel or what we it might be like when you step outside of the door. Good morning, Tim. Picture says a thousand words, right? Well, that's the picture we're going to be seeing across a lot of areas today. Mostly rural communities uh, in the state. Anywhere near farmland, probably going to see quite a bit of fog. Also, Danbury seeing a lot of fog at the moment, at least according to current visibility stats. Also seeing the uh, possibility of showers on not only Monday, but Wednesday as well. Uh, Danbury, really the big story here in terms of fog, socked in fog, three-quarter visibility. So if you're looking to go a three quarter mile visibility if you're going down I-84 heading towards New York or if you're coming in from New York, of course, if you're coming in from New York, probably not watching us at the moment, but you can watch us on the app, not while you're driving. Either way, going to be quite a bit of fog, taking a little bit slower out there. Also, a uh, few areas that did see fog this morning already up near Middletown, Portland, uh, heading down in the middle field, down in the Middlesex County. Uh, we're going to be looking for more fog there, especially in rural areas. I know there was a lot of fog last night. Uh, in the fields near the Durham Fairgrounds uh, where a lot of people were parking and it's a cool light tonight. So it's not surprising to see temps have gotten down pretty close to the dew point at this point and it's been very dry. So temps really cooled down. One of the coldest nights we've had in quite some time. Uh, seeing a couple low 40s in there, Willimantic and Salisbury. Also a little cooler just to the north of Willimantic and Stafford. It's 43 right now. That coming in from Jeff from Staffordville. Uh, he's seen some very cool conditions. Also down by the shoreline right around the uh, lower 50s or so. Northerly breeze is still keeping things quite cool, keeping that dry air in place. We're going to see more of that north wind today as we see high pressure begin to shift off to our north and east, allowing for a little bit of cloud later on. No real cloud to speak of, just a couple of clouds moving into Danbury area. And if you look at right behind me there, you probably blink and miss it at this point, but there is a little bit of high cloud that's moving through. Nothing to worry about. Lots of sun throughout the day today. We'll see increasing clouds later on into the afternoon. We'll see temps around the upper 60s by 5 p.m. Most of us will get into the upper 60s today. A couple 70s are possible. Other than that, though, an absolutely gorgeous day to end the weekend. We'll be talking about rainfall coming from Monday and Wednesday in my full forecast. Aisha. Tim, thank you. A scary Facebook post circulating in one Connecticut community. You may have seen the post popping up on your news feeds. It warns of a stranger danger and possible kidnapping attempt. But as Fox 61's chief investigator Brian Foley reports, the post was not what it seemed and police have something to say about it. 
for police departments, the block watches and community meetings of years past are being replaced by social media neighborhood pages. And it's important for police to pay attention to them as rumors and false information can cause, cause things to get out of control. Well, what I saw was a grandmother um, posting a warning to people about her grandchildren being attacked, so she thought. Um, she was really hyping it up uh, and it created a lot of panic on the page. This post on the What's Happening in Naugatuck Facebook page was shared over 2,300 times. The post says two men jumped out of a white van and chased two girls after they got off their school bus. The post describes the men as human traffickers. Naugatuck police investigated the incident on Wednesday. For lack of a better term of, of what happened, I think they walked by the vehicle. I think that their awareness was up, which, was, which is good. Um, as, as kids, we want them to be aware of their surroundings and what's going on. And it, and it generally did scare them, but uh, as far as an actual trying to be abducted, uh, there wasn't too much to be able, uh, evidence that we had there to be able to support that that was in fact what, whatever the, the parties in the van were trying to do. They may have just been stopped trying to get out, it, but we're not ruling it out at this point. Going beyond the investigation, Naugatuck police saw what was being spread on Facebook and quickly posted the facts about the incident. It, it was worded in a way that it created um, a little bit of panic in the uh, community here. Uh, so we, we first wanted to kind of dispel some of the information that was put in there that when I, while initially I think that that may have been what they feared happened, wasn't actually the case. While neighborhood pages can be very helpful for residents, users should be cautious. I also think that social media sometimes can exaggerate and amplify the panic for people when situations like this. The Naugatuck police are very active on social media and their quick response helped to quell the panic. Brian Foley, Fox 61 News. And switching gears right now, the Community Health Services Center hosted their annual free dental clinic in Hartford yesterday. Dentists treating 500 patients between the hours of 8 and 4. Take a look here. The Community Health Services Center offers all kinds of services from simple cleanings to extractions, x-rays, and cavity fillings. It's a busy but worthwhile day for the center and volunteers. We have people who come in covering their mouth and by the time they're walking out, they're walking out with a bright smile. So, you know, um, we're feeling great that we're here this morning. The clinic costs about $30,000 every year and they do accept donations. If you want to help out, donations can be made at chshartford.org. And Saturday made for a beautiful day to enjoy the fall weather at the Hartford River Walk, where the 20th annual Head of the River Walk Regatta kicked off. Take a look here. 3,000 athletes from as far as Texas gathered in the capital city for the annual race, and 10,000 spectators came out to watch them. The event is held by Riverfront Recapture, and more than 300 volunteers helped coordinate it. A lot of volunteers uh, and a really sophisticated uh, team that puts together a regatta. This takes weeks and weeks and weeks to plan. We're thrilled to have uh, almost 3,000 athletes on the water, 600 boats that will be going up and down the Connecticut River. University won this year's regatta for the men, while UConn took home first for the women. And happening today, a special ceremony to honor a fallen soldier who received the Medal of Honor a few weeks ago. The Medal of Honor ceremony taking place in Washington, D.C., with President Donald Trump bestowing the highest honor to Master Sergeant John Chapman's family. Chapman was from Windsor Locks, and today there will be a special ceremony dedicating a new memorial monument to remember his life and heroic service. Town officials say they uh, say his passing has brought the community together in a time where so many are being pulled apart. I think it's brought our whole community together and you can see that when we started talking about the event people were coming out of everywhere and wanting to be part of it. So you know you hear about all the divisiveness going around. This event is bringing all of us together to honor John but also to honor our veterans which I think is really important. For more information on the event set for today, you can head over to our website, fox61.com. And also happening today, catch all the latest in your local politics this morning on The Real Story. Fox 61's Al Terzi and Jen Bernstein sitting down with independent candidate Oz Griebel after participating in his first debate of the post-primary season after being excluded from the first two. You can catch that interview and much more. Just stay tuned to Fox 61. The Real Story with Al and Jen starts this morning at 10 a.m.
And still to come, axe throwing has become a popular activity across the country and right here in Connecticut. In this morning's Work in CT, we will show you how and where you can get in on the action. Tim. And a little bit of fog popping up across the state. We're going to be seeing our visibilities affected this morning, so a little bit of caution as you head out on the roads. We'll talk about all that coming up in your forecast. Stay with us. Hey, everybody. I am right in the heart of Connecticut today in Marlboro at Chateau Legere, having a great time for one of my favorite organizations, the Huntington's Disease Society of America. They're having a different event. Usually we do walks for them, but this one is called Music on the Vine. And it's uh, a fundraiser where they've got wine, they've got food, they've got music, and it's all family friendly, so they're happy. I brought Carrie, I brought RJ here too, and I, I mentioned food. How about lobster? How about ice cream sandwiches and cookies? It's great. I mean, that's all I needed to come, but just to be able to help a cause like this, Huntington's disease does not get nearly the amount of attention that it should, and that's why any time I can help to raise awareness for just this terrible disease and everything that we need to do to be able to fight it and raise money to fight it, uh, I am happy to help, so I'm happy to be here today. Can you do this procedure safely? Yeah, I can do it flawlessly. If you feel it, could you let me know? The way you handle things scares me. That's not fair. The Residents, all new Monday at 8, 7 Central on Fox. Tuesday on Work in CT, hundreds of talented and driven scientists searching for cures for the nation's diseases using the latest technologies to further advance medicine and health care. We take you inside the lab that is working to change the world. Tuesday at 620. Because you're always there for the people you care for, so are we. Because you do all you can to make it better, we do too. And because sometimes you need more than a team, we've built a network. Introducing Trinity Health of New England Medical Group, connecting you to the providers of Mercy, St. Mary's, St. Francis, Mount Sinai, and Johnson Memorial Hospital. What inspires the way we care? All the ways that you do. Okay, let's go. Turn right here. Here? Yeah. During the Jeep Adventure Days event, Discover deals as legendary as Jeep SUV's 4x4 capability and the confidence to go where you've never gone before. It's more than just a test drive. It's your first adventure. That was awesome. Started off with a great deal at the Jeep Adventure Days event. Well-qualified returning lessees get a low mileage lease on one of these Jeep vehicles for under 200 a month. Hey, mister, did you fix what flooded my house? Sure did. Bust the water heater? Nailed it. What's next? Wrapping up the water cleanup. You do that too? We do both. Fair enough. Call Roto-Rooter for plumbing and water cleanup. Yeah, we do both. The Black Bear Americana Music Festival is coming to the Goshen Fairgrounds Columbus Day weekend, October 4th through the 8th. 40 acts on four stages. Come for the day or camp out for the weekend. Go to blackbearmusicfest.com for more info. There's a lot to smile about in every Volkswagen. Hurry in and get a value-packed 2019 Jetta S for just $189 a month. Now with the People First Warranty. When storms hit, count on Fox 61 Weather Watch Storm Tracker. Expect more. Afternoon traffic on your TV with Rachel Lutzker, only on Fox 61 News. This morning's work in CT while crossing off another item on your CT fall bucket list. Axe throwing has become a craze across the country, including right here in Connecticut. Fox 61's Amanda Rouse tried her hand to see if she could hit a bullseye. Ready, aim, throw. At Montana Knights Axe Throwing in Newington, it's all it's different, you know, like it's not just the same old. I'm sure once winter sets in, you know, now that it's fall, it's getting cold out, perfect activity. Owner Merle McKenzie sure hopes so. He got on the axe throwing bandwagon earlier, introducing it first in some of the gyms he owns. So 
couple years ago, I saw the trend come across social media about axe throwing bars in Canada. And I thought it'd be fun to do with our members. So I had a member build me a target and I bought some axes and failed miserably at it. It never really took off with our group, and I just think I didn't push it hard enough. A year later, he saw another post for axe throwing bars in the U.S. That's when he decided to open up in Newington, creating a space that he says is family friendly, great for private parties, or just a night out with friends. We're the only licensed alcohol sell axe bar in the state at the moment. The only thing left, a lesson from the lead expert himself. So you're going to put your dominant hand on top, Okay. put your other hand on the bottom, and you're not going to clasp your hand. So one on top of the like okay. that. Okay. Almost like you should be in the right? Okay. Knowing I had Jimmy Altman's throw to live up to. I'm not following through. After many tries. the sweet feeling of success. If you want to try your hand at axe throwing, we have all of the hours from Montana Nights up on our website, fox61.com. In Newington, Amanda Rouse, Fox 61 News. And if you have a business or a story you think we should feature, email us at workinct at fox61.com. Tell us what makes Connecticut great using the hashtag CTConfident. We want to hear from you. And Dave and Buster's is expanding in our state with its newest location at the Connecticut Post Mall in Milford. And with that new location comes 200 jobs. According to the company's website, the restaurant and arcade is set to open in November. And it's looking for 200 people to join its team. Positions range from bartender to host. And for more on the positions available, just head over to the Dave and Buster's career page. 646 right now. We want to get a check of your forecast on this Sunday morning. Meteorologist Tim Levine is standing by right now with what you can expect. Good morning, Tim. Yeah, quite a bit of fog across our area this morning. In fact, we're talking about the potential for fog throughout most of the morning, especially in rural locations uh, and areas that aren't really traveled all that much around the state. Also a possibility of a few showers on Monday, and we're going to be feeling like fall heading into next weekend. So uh, we got quite a bit uh, of areas that are seeing fog. At this point, a lot of the recording Boarding site still showing high visibility. Danbury, though, pretty socked in fog. And also off to the north and to the west, uh, the east here, uh, seeing quite a bit of fog as well. I've also heard that there's been quite a few places uh, that are also seeing fog, especially in Middlesex County. This is in Middletown. Look at that uh, right down there uh, along the riverfront and also into the area. So quite a bit of fog across the area and a lot of a uh, lot of the uh, rural uh, rural fields and such also seeing quite a bit of fog. You know, it's funny farm fields and farmland areas where you see a lot of crops being put. Uh, you see quite a bit of, uh, of fog there also because of the high moisture content of the soil. Now, last night was a perfect night for generating fog. And what I mean by that is it was clear all night. Winds were calm, so that takes all the uh, radiation from the Earth that we saw, uh, radiation from the solar radiation we saw, uh, leaves the Earth and exits the atmosphere uh, in the form of infrared radiation. And because of that, you get big time cooling throughout our area. And because of that, we're seeing temperatures right around the lower 40s off into uh, northeastern and northwestern Connecticut. It's 47 in Hartford right now, 51, 54 in Bridgeport, 51 in New Haven. So a pretty chilly morning for most of us. Calm winds all around, which means we continue to see this cooling continue all the way until we get the sun to come up. And we might have uh, another couple degrees shaped off here. So a couple areas gonna be flirting with the 30s. Don't worry, we won't get there. We'll probably stay in the low 40s across most of the region. A couple high clouds and also noticing a little bit of uh, moisture up near Binghamton here and some high clouds that are moving eastward. This is a storm system that's going to stay well north of our area, but eventually the front associated with this will be draped across our area for Monday, and that's going to unfortunately create a bit of a showery Monday for us. Today, though, beautiful. 63 by noon. Picture perfect outside, lots of sun, couple clouds later on in the afternoon. So if you're heading out, trying to get something done, don't worry, you have no, no worries in terms of any type of rainfall or anything like that. The only thing that you do have to worry about a couple of clouds later on, maybe some fog tomorrow morning as well. But it should be 
a nice day today. We'll top out in the upper 60s across most of the region. Probably going to eke out a few 70s, especially in valley locations. Lots of dry air in place, so we're going to warm up very quickly today. Whenever you have that dry air, it doesn't take a lot of solar radiation to warm dry air up as, as uh, opposed to moist air. So we're going to see big temperature swings across the area today. Clouds late, and then eventually we see more clouds heading into Monday morning. And then because of that, we'll also be seeing temperatures staying a little bit cooler as a result, as a result especially up into the northern parts of the state where we might get a chance for a few rain showers uh, that'll move through the region. So big swings in temperature tomorrow along the shoreline, middle 70s, up into uh, parts of the valley and up into uh, parts of the inland state. The inland parts of the state will likely see temps right around the mid 60s to lower 60s throughout the day. We'll cool down heading into the evening. And then, of course, by Tuesday, we see more potential for rainfall working into the area. Latest run of the GFS just came in, and this is sort of agreeing with uh, the latest RPM forecast that you're looking at right here. So I'm thinking the timing's getting pushed up in instead of Wednesday where we were talking about rain showers. Now we're more talking Tuesday evening heading into the overnight parts of Wednesday. So we've shifted the seven day as a result. Rain late on Tuesday, showers and cloudiness on Wednesday, uh, but really the bulk of the rain coming in on Tuesday. After that, we see mostly sunny conditions through Thursday, Friday and Saturday. The weekend looking absolutely beautiful. The shoreline though, a little bit warmer in most locales. 72 on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday again, not exactly the best days. I figure after about 3 p.m. on Tuesday, it's just about a washout. So unfortunately, not much to get done on Tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday, though we can make up for it. Like I said, the pick of the week, tunnel vision wise, mm -hmm. Friday and Saturday heading into next weekend. Those are probably the best two days. Okay, so just get through the week mm -hmm. and hold on. The weekend will be better mm -hmm. and a perfect time to cross some fall bucket list items. Yeah, good mm -hmm. plans. Here you go, fall weather. Fall bucket list items, <laughs> they also, go hand in hand. Uh, also, you know, go out and enjoy some of the fairs today. Lots of fun food. Lots yes, of I plan food. on hitting up the Apple. Southington. Um, Southington, yep, I will be there. I was um, at the Durham Fair last night, always a, a, a staple of going on Saturday. Scotty McCreary sounded awesome. Awesome on the Durham Fair stage last night. Every week we send Sean Fregato out to find the best eats in Connecticut. Of course, we are talking about Foodie Friday. So where are we headed next week for Foodie Friday? Well, the Fox <laughs> 61 morning team broke out the trusty crock pot to pick our next spot to find some good food. And there's a lot of good spots. Check it out. Where are we going for Foodie Friday? We are going to Suffield. Suffield. Okay. Up on the mass border. So if you have any suggestions for some good eats in Suffield, let us know. Download the Fox 61 News app and click on Fox 61 Morning News and submit those ideas. You can also message us on Facebook and on Twitter as well. <laughs> All right, 651 right now and still to come on the Fox 61 Morning News. Uh, a lot to get to. Uh, we'll explain more on Elon Musk and that tweet that is now costing him millions. We'll be right back. All local, all morning. Expect more on the Fox 61 Morning News. Oh! 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 People with type 2 diabetes are excited about the potential of once-weekly Ozempic. In a study with Ozempic, a majority of adults lowered their blood sugar and reached an A1C of less than 7 and maintained it. Oh! Under 7? And you may lose weight. In the same one-year study, adults lost on average up to 12 pounds. Oh, up to 12 pounds? A two-year study showed that Ozempic does not increase the risk of major cardiovascular events like heart attack, stroke, or death. Oh, no increased risk? Oh, oh, oh. Ozempic should not be the first medicine for treating diabetes or for people with type 1 diabetes or diabetic ketoacidosis. Do not share needles or pens. Don't reuse needles. Do not take Ozempic if you have a personal or family history of medullary thyroid cancer, multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2, or if you are allergic to Ozempic. Stop taking Ozempic and get medical help right away if you get a lump or swelling in your neck, severe stomach pain, itching, rash, or trouble breathing. Serious side effects may happen, including pancreatitis. Tell your doctor if you have diabetic retinopathy or vision changes. Taking Ozempic with a sulfonylurea or insulin may increase the risk for low blood sugar. 
Common side effects are nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, stomach pain, and constipation. Some side effects can lead to dehydration, which may worsen kidney problems. I discovered the potential with Ozempic. Ask your healthcare provider if Ozempic is right for you. 2018s have the biggest GM savings now, plus a Walling for Buick GMC bonus, Sierra's 12,036 off, a 199 lease, or 6,500 off, only with our Walling for bonus, Acadia, 9,040 off, a 199 lease, or buy one for 29,990, 4516 off this canyon, terrains from 24,499, or 8,536 off Yukon, September 30th, all gone, get all GM rebates, plus our bonus, only at Walling for Buick GMC, Route 5, Wallingford. See the latest styles and trends in home building and remodeling at the 2018 Parade of Homes hosted by HBRA of Central Connecticut. Meet the builders and see the latest in new home design and features in both new and fully remodeled homes. The 21 homes featured include price levels to fit every budget, and every stop is an entry to win raffle prizes. Download the Parade Craze app or visit pohct.com to plan your parade today. And use discount code FOX61 for half-off tickets. Presented by Connecticut Lighting Centers and Vendor. Looking for something unique, exhilarating, and new? You can own the corners in the highly impressive Alfa Romeo Giulia Q4 all-wheel drive with class-leading performance and standard features. Lease from just $319 a month. You'll enjoy the perfect balance of performance and practicality with Q4 all-wheel drive, remote start, and much more with a nicely equipped 2018 Alfa Romeo Stelvio Performance Crossover. Lease from just $299 a month. At Valenti Alfa Romeo in Hartford, visit ValentiAlfa.com. We are getting a sneak peek at what Tom Hanks will look like when he portrays Mr. Rogers in an upcoming movie. Take a look here. On Thursday, Sony Pictures released a photograph showing Mr. Hanks all decked out as the beloved children's television show host. The Oscar winning actor is shown wearing Rogers signature red sweater and a dress shirt and a tie, tan slacks and sneakers. Production on the biographical um, drama began this month. Its working title is You Are My Friend. The film is based on the true story of the friendship between Mr. Rogers neighborhood host and journalist Tom. Um, Junod. The film hits theaters next year on October 19th. That picture all over the internet. So a lot of folks looking forward to that movie there. And Elon Musk reaches an agreement with the CEC to settle the agency's fraud lawsuit. Tesla CEO and the electric car company itself will split a $40 million payment to the Securities and Exchange Commission. Now, if you recall, this is in response to the CEC charging Musk with fraud after a tweet he sent out in August suggesting he would be taking the company private. His tweet also named a price of $420 share well above the company's stock price at the time, a, quote, false and misleading statement that duped investors. In addition, Musk will step down as chairman of Tesla for at least three years, but will stay on as chief executive officer. And actor Kevin Spacey is facing a sexual assault lawsuit, a... Masseur in California says Spacey attacked him two years ago in Malibu's in a Malibu home during a private massage. The suit seeks unspecified monetary damages. Representatives for Spacey did not immediately comment or respond to a request for those comments. Since 2017, dozens of men have come forward with allegations against the former House of Cards actor. Spacey has been dropped from multiple roles in television and film. And still to come, protests continue for and against Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh. We will bring you the latest from Washington. Make sure you stay around for that. And Facebook still dealing with a major data breach affecting millions of users. See how you can protect your personal information. Tim. A little foggy this morning across parts of the area. We're going to tell you exactly where and also when you can expect more rain in your forecast. Stay with us. You're watching the Fox 61 Morning News. Rustic wire brush finish, solid pine, choice of dresser or chesser. This must be my Austin bedroom set, only $9.99 complete. Huh. Different bedroom, similar wire brush finish, but something's not right. Where's the chesser? Oh, good. It's just my competition's overly priced similar bedroom set. Bob's Discount Furniture. 
Chevy Maserati in Hartford is now offering as low as 0% APR financing on select Maserati models. Lease the capable and luxurious Maserati Levante SUV with Q4 all-wheel drive from just...